Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo. I am the incubation engineer for MLOps here at GitLab and today I'm gonna to be showing you a little bit of a demo of model experiments and our MLflow integration running at GitLab. All of these features are already available on gitlab.com and are also available on self-managed customers for version 15.11 and onwards. Uh, you just need to enable a feature flag. So for those who don't know, Mod experiments or experiment tracking are a way to log, to keep a track of all of the variations of machine learning model, um, either because they change the data or the code or the configuration files and hyperparameters. And it's just a way to log those things that can impact on the performance of the model. Uh, the most common or most popular uh, tool for this is MLflow, and we are releasing a, an integration with MLflow where GitLab becomes a backend for the MLflow client. I'm gonna show you a little bit over here. So for example, you have here the MLflow classic MLflow client or the MLflow server, and I'm gonna track a, a series of models uh, through the script that are gonna be make available uh, as a, uh, on the link below. It will track a series of experiment of of runs in MLflow. So here I have a really nice demo and it created the uh, the runs with uh, with all of the metrics and parameters and everything else. Um, and for the data scientists that wants to use GitLab uh, to track those, so I already created here a model, uh, a project. So I can just change, instead of, of using these variables, I will use these ones. So it's a, it's a token uh, that, that gives permission and the path uh, to this project so that it knows where to log things at. So I can navigate to uh, package and registries and model experiments. I see that I don't have any experiment over here. So I'm gonna create uh, a new and start logging them to GitLab. So once I refresh this, so there was no change to the code itself for the training, just where to save things to. Um, I can refresh. I can see that this uh, the experiment was created. I can click on it. And now I see all of the candidates that were created. This is still being logged. So I can just refresh and it will show all of the, 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 the parameters and the metrics over here as well. Uh, it already also logged the artifacts. So for example, I can click on artifacts and it will show the, 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 the it's part of the experiment. It's the, the candidate number 18. And I have all of the, uh, all of the model files that were logged through MLflow that without any configuration necessary by the data scientist. So I can come back to the model experiments. Um, I can also see all of the information for a specific candidate. Uh, over here and we are naming here candidate because in a little bit different than, than MLflow, MLflow names, names it as runs, we name as candidates because um, candidates are candidate to become a model version um, and that's why the choice of the naming. Uh, we also want to add model registry and uh, this will tie into the model registry later. So I have all of the information that was logged to the specific candidate um, I can delete the candidate if I want to. And over here, I can also, if I want to explore this data um, to create a report or anything like that, I can download this data as a CSV file and it will open the CSV file. Um, and that was a quick demo of the current state. We are working on more features, uh, working on tying this in, integrating to the pipelines working on adding the model, model registry uh, and many other nice features, but this is the current version as 15.11. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.